so in this question we have to find out which of the given statements are true so the first statement which says moderate earthquakes are caused along constructive plate boundaries is absolutely correct the third statement which says disastrous earthquakes are caused along destructive plate boundaries is also true and the fourth statement which says severe earthquakes are caused along the conservative plate boundaries with the creation of transform faults is also absolutely correct but the second statement which says low magnitude earthquakes are caused along the conservative plate boundaries is not correct now let us understand the concepts behind this question let us first understand the three types of plate boundaries this type of plate boundary where two plates plate a and plate b are just moving parallel to one another are called conservative plate boundaries these are called conservative because here the crustal material is staying conserved it is neither being destroyed nor new crustal material is being created therefore these are called conservative plate boundaries whereas these kind of plate boundaries where crustal material is getting destroyed because this oceanic plate is subsiding always remember that the oceanic plate is heavier than the continental plate therefore it subsides and ultimately it undergoes melting which we call partial melting it gets destroyed and on account of destruction these are called destructive plate boundaries whereas these kind of plate boundaries where the two plates are moving away from one another and the magma coming from below is solidifying and creating new crustal material here these are called constructive plate boundaries now let's examine the statements given in the question one by one so the first statement is moderate earthquakes are caused along the constructive plate boundaries this is correct now let us understand this see when the magma rises and comes here and solidifies and makes new crustal material since the two plates are actually moving away from one another this rising magma is allowed to escape since it can escape easily so pressure does not build up here and therefore the earthquakes that are caused here are just moderate earthquakes and they are also shallow focus earthquakes so okay, did you understand this no pressure is actually getting bottled up because the plates are moving away therefore only moderate earthquakes would be caused here now let's look at the second statement which says low magnitude earthquakes are caused along the conservative plate boundaries so this is actually wrong and uh, to explain this i want to explain the concept of elastic limit so if you take a rubber band and if you stretch it it will ultimately break and when it breaks a lot of energy is released and you might get hurt also if you uh, take a rubber band and actually stretch it so this is what happens even in rocks so rocks also have an elastic limit and when the plates move past one another when it slides past another the edges of the plates are never smooth they are always rough and therefore these rocks get jammed into one another and when there is still increasing pressure the rocks actually stretch a little bit and eventually they break and when they break they release a lot of energy and this breaking after a certain stretching is called the elastic limit so after the elastic limit they actually rupture and break and therefore a lot of energy is released and on account of this along the conservative plate boundaries very powerful earthquakes can occur the third statement says disastrous earthquakes are caused along the destructive plate boundaries so now this is a destructive plate boundary so as this plate is going down there is a lot of friction that is occurring the plate is also bending it is also cracking and therefore disastrous earthquakes can occur along the destructive plate boundaries the fourth statement says severe earthquakes are caused along conservative plate boundaries with the creation of transform faults so this is absolutely correct now first understand understand the concept of a fault for example if this is a rock and if there is just a crack we can call it a fracture but if there is movement that is after this crack develops and if this if there is movement then this part would become a fault this part would become a fault so when there is appreciable movement along this fracture we can call it a fault now the fault in question is a transform fault a transform fault is a fault of the kind where the two rocks are just sliding past one another and you see this is what is happening even in the conservative plate boundaries here there is the creation of a transform fault and therefore this statement is absolutely correct so the answer will be c 1 3 and 4